So in today's video, I wanted to see what would happen if I got 50 people all to go warp boss and fight the boss at once. And well, it was pretty chaotic. So I started up a live stream, got around 50 people all to go warp boss. Well, that's literally one third of the server right there. Now YouTube tells me that 59% of the people that watch these videos are not subscribed. So do check if you're subscribed or not. Oh, and one final thing. If this video gets 150 likes, I will give away 10 Shion kits along with a whole bunch of other kits on my Discord. So make sure you like the video and join my Discord server. Anyways, I do hope you enjoy the video and let's get started. Boys, we got a good one today. We're gonna be fighting some bosses. Pretty much, I just wanna get literally everyone watching this live stream to go fight the bosses with me. Just, I, I just wanna see what happens, honestly. Before we go fighting bosses, I should probably explain something here because I, that's not really worthy for like a video, but I got phased into twice, so that was quite fun. Thankfully, they didn't really get any of my good stuff. Anyways, yeah, we're just here to do some damage on the boss. Oh, jeez, we got a lot of people here. I'm probably gonna lag the server, I'm gonna be honest. This is not the smartest idea, but, uh, we're, we got a lot of- <laughs> You can't make this up, this is so great. Just having, like, a million people here, all just killing the boss. I'd say this is around, like, 20 or 30 players right now, all fighting it. And someone died, yikes. <laughs> How do you, wait, how do you die with this lag? Like, the lag, and there's, like, so many other people. Like, if you don't have any armor or anything, like, just come here and just watch. It's, it's, it's like a historical event, but on, uh, Minecraft, and it's not actually it's historical. I probably don't have a chance at getting top damage. I don't click fast, and I, uh, haven't been fighting it the full time. I, yeah, this has got to be around, like, 40 people at Warp Boss right now. Oh, wow. This, the lag is, like, so toxic, though. Hope I can do the most damage. I don't know. I, I feel like I might have a chance. I think I'm gonna get somewhere in like top 10. That's that's my guess. Because I haven't been like fully committed like sweating this boss out or anything. On classic, I'm probably gonna have like maybe a higher chance of getting top damage. I like how we, we've been fighting it for around 10 minutes now, and we've only gotten it down like a fourth of its health. 8 FPS, yeah, that's probably gonna happen. There are way too many people here. Okay, you know what? Server reset. Everyone go on classic. The boss is back at full health. There's no point. It's so laggy. Everyone right now. Let's all get on classic. We got like a lot of people. I'm gonna let's just, let's just go. Honestly, like, there's no lag. This is gonna be fun. I I wonder how quickly we can kill one. Oh, this is so much better than OP. Oh, this is fun. You can actually like register hits. I'm butterfly clicking. I gotta sweat. Yeah, we're gonna kill this thing in like five minutes or less. I guarantee you. We're still getting people in all oh, this. <laughs> oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. I legit almost just died right there. <laughs> We've already got down to like half health, so that's crazy. Oh, this boss is like about to die, what? Big F if you die at the end, don't get to see it die. Oh. <laughs> wow. Top damage was only 8,000. <laughs> Alright, chat, right in chat. Guess what position I got, I wanna see. Oh wow, people, you guys actually got like confidence in me, what? Let's see what we got. What? We, we got second place. Nah, we actually got second. Wait, I was like right there. No, I was like two away from top damage. Now nah, we gotta run that back. We gotta do another. I think as like the fast, like the sooner I start killing it, this is my time where I can get like top damage. This is my one chance. Like if I start killing it now. This is actually fun though. Like I like fighting bosses when there's a lot of people. It's like the struggle to try to get like top damage. It's, it's it's fun. Come on, give me top damage. I need this. I need it for the thumbnail. Oh, 
Yep. Oh, let's go. We got it. We got it, boys. We got it. All right, that's that's a screenshot right there. We got top damage. Let's see what we get from that. We got oh, we got a necromancer kit. Wow. 24k and a necro kit. I think it's time we uh, fix our armor though. <laughs> it's getting really low. All right, this is the final fight right now. It all goes down now on this gap. This is it. Oh, okay. Wow, that was like a really low round. Wow. Oh, I got second. Wow. I got a uh, 4100. I got a WD kit and like some money. Okay. So that's pretty much everything that happened in the live stream. I did defend my base for a little bit, but it wasn't too eventful. Pretty much just how it goes every time I try to defend my base. But now it's time we start doing some other things. So as it is right now, I've got one fully maxed out G set, and then I've got another that I'm wearing, and then I've got this one that I'm slowly working on. Now I do want to keep fighting bosses for the majority of this video, so when I go to my quest, I've actually got two that do involve bosses, and these are actually really useful. If I go to the boss grinder, I need to deal 3000 damage to a boss, and if I do that, I get two forge notes, which if they're high percentages, allows me to get two more levels on a CE. Also for the other, I only need to deal 1000 damage to a boss, and if I do that, I get 250 CE XP. So I think on that note, it's time we go back to warp boss and let's deal some damage. Now we are back on OP, so it will take quite a lot of time to kill, but I only need to get like 3,000 damage. If I'm not mistaken, just recently a boss died and this guy got 33,000. Now we just get to patiently wait for a boss to spawn in. Also on a side note, someone put a Karma 4 book for 600k, so I'm gonna go buy that. I don't think it matters too much. We might have overpaid, but it's fine. And just like that, we're getting closer and closer to getting a fully maxed out G set. And oh, looks like a boss spawned in. So let's use our slime ball and uh, uh, let's get an str potion going here and we just got to get some hits in oh this lag is toxic basically as soon as i get like the 3000 damage i need on this boss i'm gonna leave because this is gonna take way too long wait what we no way, we already completed the boss grinder? Well then, okay, you know, we'll be we'll be taking these forge notes. And they're, they're actually, one's 86%, the other's 21, which isn't really the best, but then we got a 43. So now I believe if I hit it a whole bunch more, I should get the rest of the damage that I need. Okay, it's really laggy, and I don't think the other quest is gonna work. I've been dealing damage for a while, and may maybe the boss fight needs to end, so I'm just gonna, like, let them do the rest. I think I've got around a 1,000 damage. Now I'm just gonna use some of these forge notes that we got just to upgrade a couple of the enchants on this set. I think, yeah, I'll get immunity 5, and then hopefully I can get karma 5 on this. Oh, wow, that, yeah, that actually worked. There we go. So now all we need is a steel bones 5 on that, and then if we wanna get, like, a wrath CE later, we could. It's not gonna be a main focus, though. And then we also do need uh to get steel bones up to five on here as well as cursed up to five please work oh no it didn't rip now actually in ce shop i have 8,000 ce xp you know it's time we full send we're gonna open up a mythical ce please i i really want an armor ce right here oh we got immunity that's actually good and all but we we have fully maxed out immunity on everything all right so i put the immunity five up for 650k Hopefully that'll sell pretty quick, and then from there I can hopefully buy a uh, Steel Bones. So it's been about 10 minutes, and the Immunity 5 sold, so now we have 1.5 million coins that we can spend for some more Armor CEs. Now as it is right now, I need two Steel Bone books, one Saber Heart, and then I need to get Cursed 3 up to Cursed 5. I think the first order of business that we need to do is buy two Steel Bones books. Alright, so this guy just gave me a Steel Bones 4, and uh, now I'm gonna pay him, I believe the price was 650k, so there you go, my guy. Thank you, thank you for the Steel Bones. There we go, our helmet is almost fully maxed out, apart from Wrath CEs, which we're not even gonna begin to worry about at this point. Alright, for 300k, we got a Saber Heart 1, so now all we need is a whole bunch of Forge Notes. Oh, this G set's really coming together now. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go shop, and I'm gonna spend the rest of my mob coins. I've got literally, like, 459. I'm just gonna buy, like, a whole bunch of forge dust. Yeah, let's just, like, buy a whole bunch of forge dust. Well then, that was quite a lot. We got 15 of them. Come on. Yes, there we go. So now the helmet's fully maxed out. All we have left to max out is the boots. And oh, let's go. Someone bought the YT kit. So now I've literally got like 2.9 million I can spend on some Forge notes. I don't even care. I'm like buying the low ones just because it's something, you know, and I can just put a whole bunch of these uh, Forge dust on it and it gets to a relatively high level. There we go. Saber Heart 2. All right, so I got a whole bunch of low level Forge notes and I'm going to use some of this Forge dust to get them to a slightly higher level. So hopefully they'll work. Oh wow, one actually did work. So now all we need is steel bones upgraded. So for these three high level forge notes, I'm gonna pay this guy 1.2 mil. It may be a little bit much. 
It might be a little under. I have no idea. I don't really know prices, but uh, there you go, my guy. Although, oh, you know what? For 400k, I'll take it, honestly. I guess we didn't really need these forge notes. Let's uh, go put this on the boots and come on. Yes, first try. There we go. So that's it. We fully maxed out our third G set. You know, who would have thought making a G set is so easy?